All right, guys, as you can see, this is Fujitsu Lightbook E Series, one of the model E458. The screen is shuttered, and almost all the E Series have similar procedure to replace the LCD screen. And it's always simple and easy to get the replacement for Fujitsu model, especially the screen. Okay. So first of all, we need to find the right replacement. From my experience, I found most of the E-Series, they use 15.6 inch 30 pin connector on the right hand side screen replacement. That's the details. So you don't need to have too many tools to complete this job. Also, you don't need to have any sort of skills to do that. If you follow some safety guidelines, then you'd be able to replace the screen and save a lot of money and you don't have to take it to any professional shop. So first of all, from your Livebook E-Series, make sure you take out the battery and disconnect the charger and switch off your Livebook completely. Because if there is any sort of power or anything that could damage the actual motherboard or the replacement screen. All right, once it's switched off, then we need to have these tools. As you can see, I'm using tweezer to take out the cover of the screws, two of them, one of them at the left hand side, another one on the right hand side. And then we're gonna take out both of the screws and we'll take out the front bezel. And then on the actual screen, there are four screws you will see later on on the video, two of them on the top and another two of them on the bottom left and right. Once we take out the four screws, we'll gently disconnect the 30 pin connector flex cable. Be careful, be cautious because the actual 30 pin connector flex wire is very delicate. So if you pull it in the wrong way, either you're gonna damage the actual cable, which is very difficult to find. It would not be that expensive, but to find the replacement that is really painful, and replacing the actual LCD flex cable is very difficult. You have to open up the complete front bezel, the back cover, then you need to get access to the motherboard, completely digester, okay? So be careful. And then to open up E-Series uh, front bezel is a little bit different than any other ordinary laptop. So as you can see, I'm using the flat opening tool, which is called Spaza or IFSISMA. So you need to put it in the gap and gently sponge it, okay? Push it to the back so the front bezel comes out. It's gonna make little sort of cracky and clicky noise, which is absolutely fine. But before you pull out too much, just be gentle, just find out, see the all the end cords or bits and pieces inside, uh, see the position and do it step by step, okay? So I always prefer to do the top side first than the bottom. And look at the bezel. Nothing is damaged right here, okay? All the end cords is perfect in condition when I open up in that way. All right. So now as I said, four screws. And then we'll disconnect and put the new one. So as I said, this one take 15.6 inch 30 pin connectors on the right hand side and the screw holes are on the top and bottom, you can get this replacement easily from eBay or any other online site, you know. Uh, that should cost you not more than 30, sorry, 45 to 58 pounds. That's the price I found. By the way, this one gloss finish, um, uh, kind of matte and gloss in between, but you can use any one of them. If you don't like gloss, then you can go for matte. And if you don't like matte finishing, then you can go for gloss. Both of them are fully compatible. All right, guys. So let's carry on with this video and see end of the day if you are successful. By the way, the replacement that I use that is second and original from HP laptop. I pulled down from one of the broken laptop. But both of them are compatible, so I used it confidently. And still, if you do have any question, then please leave it in the comment section. I'm always more than happy to uh, answer your questions, okay? You might have three a simple and basic question like, what is the model number? Is they compatible? 
is that 15.6 inch or whatever let me give you the answers one by one uh, yes that is 15.6 inch and you know, where you can get it from as I said from eBay or any other site you might can try okay so thanks for watching and I hope you will enjoy the rest of the video